continuing onward. For example, you may have a dream vision that you are going to have a baby. You could be a brother that may see a woman in his dreams that he's not familiar with, but yet you and that woman are having a baby. Yet in your life at present, you are not with a woman, you're single, or you may be with a woman, but the woman doesn't look nothing like the woman you saw. And no one's pregnant. Maybe it's not that in a literal sense. Yeah, somebody else in the world had a baby. Okay, give that. However, your the interpretation of the dream is you giving birth to an idea. A change or a new way of life to give birth to to another person it could be an idea you may do something particular that may allow a person to receive an idea and that is that's just one of many interpretations however your dreams and all of your waking or lessons through waking life or to show you one or two important things that you are to receive lessons to others and you are to give lessons life is about giving and receiving and it can be in any order we're always receiving even when we don't feel we are and I have been wanting to learn that harsh lesson years ago so I made this video to show you those who are listening and those you will make the correspond with about information that you've heard in this video that you do not be, need to be a part of a certain group or a certain secret circle to allow you to be one as far as I know and from what I've seen of the astral plane you're not rewarded for being a Mason an Eastern Star you're not rewarded for being a Rosicrucian you're not rewarded for being on Facebook MySpace you're not rewarded for just being in a group or a club no matter how major or minor your gifts or rewards come from you making decisions wide deci wise decisions that allow you to consciously and wisely direct your life and you cannot do any of that unless you attain knowledge and wisdom there's nothing out here you can't know and if you feel that the only way you can know any of this so-called secret knowledge that's only given in certain initiation circles then you are literally cutting yourself off from the storehouse of possible avenues where you will actually receive this information I found my times aspiring to know certain information about talismans or whatever and me have thought well hey I gotta go here I gotta go there and I was I was in a library and at that time I was picking up some graphic novels I love leaving, reading graphic novels much better than a regular comic book and the particular information I aspired to find or aspired to have it was sitting right there so I did not have to go to a magician or Merlin or any of those. I called it forth and I was able to attract myself to and or guide myself to the place and space and time 
where I could receive that particular book or knowledge. Are you following me on this? Now, if you choose to be in a part of these secret group groups, fraternities, or whatever, that's that's your own choice. And I'm not here to tell you where well, you you a dumbass for doing it or whatever. You, that's probably part of your purpose to go through that for whatever reason. However, my reason is to learn that each individual, no matter how intelligent or how unintelligent, is a universe within themselves. And what goes in my universe doesn't go in yours. In your universe, you have to draw yourself to other universes that are part of some type of camaraderie to be in a particular group to do particular rituals and do particular stuff. My you, my own universe is guided towards people, places, and things that will allow me to be able to partake of information, knowledge, and wisdom within myself without having to do that type of sacrifice for the information. My sacrifice is time, energy, and sometimes sleep <laughs> when it comes to partaking of information of this sort. You have a choice in the matter. You can either choose to go down that path that looks good or you can go down that path that looks very bland at first. However, the more and more you walk the path, you see how beautiful it is. Whereas on the other path, it seemed beautiful at first, but as you travel, the trees and flowers wither and die. So, some of you are probably wondering, where can I attain some of this information that you have? Or where can I start? You can start by studying the occult metaphysics or whatever. However, I will tell you all, first book to get, or one of the books to partake of, is the Kabbalion. K-Y-B-A-L-I-O-N. That's one. Another one is called Mind Power. And the other is called Mastermind. This here which teach you to train your mind to have a strong spiritual foundation so you will not and cannot be rocked by people or entities who tell you, no, 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 you got to study this. You got to be pro-black or you got to be pro-this or pro-vegan. Or... No, 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 no. Because everyone who may partake of or eat meat is not a savage and all vegans and vegetarians are not cool people and some of you can attest to this I know some vegans and vegetarians who are some of the biggest asses I have ever met so just because they don't eat meat does not send them to heaven or the highest level of the universe than anyone else it's all about intent how you treat others as well in relation to yourself it has nothing to do with that choose your own path your body remember is a universe and your body will tell you what you have to have in food knowledge whatever and that's pretty much it for those of you that have comments and questions, you can send me an email, comment, or video response. For those that would like more in-depth lessons or teachings and some of this, as well as possible dream interpretation for your life lessons, I'm also available for that. So you have to get in contact with me and we can correspond from there and see how we're going to make it happen. So at this point,
just peace. Don't need no Atep Haru or any of this stuff. Just peace at this time. So, peace. <laughs>